AI versus the narrator. Nero and Vito explore the Stanley Parable. I love this game. Uh, let me disconnect you from Twitch chat as well for now. I'll miss them, Vito. They it's brought okay. me so much entertainment and joy. They're still there, Nero. Employee number 427's job was simple. I love he this sat game. at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons yeah. on the keyboard. Just like and these although guys. Others might have considered it soul rending. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Jesus. As though he had been made exactly for this job. Jesus, and dude. Stanley what a life. Was happy. Not me. I wouldn't be happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for oh, him to no. follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Oh, something no. was very clearly wrong. I find it fascinating to hear about people's lives, even as mundane as that. It reminds me That's... of Vito's own. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Okay. Is that a centered taskbar? I guess that means I'll have to find a different way to amuse you, chat. If only there was some small thing that would distract you all. No matter Windows. how hard Stanley looked, need? he Windows couldn't 11? find a trace Ew. of his co-workers. I wonder if the they hell? were just all scared of him. Or more likely, underwhelmed by his general demeanor. Oh, please. You can't open Are it. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Absolutely. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? I'm no, doing no, this no, for no, the no, entirety no. of chat. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. Yes, Stanley you can. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This what is it? Vito like bops his head when he's walking. He's actually role playing. This looks like the perfect opportunity to claim this place as my own. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Is he I'm going to follow my. Is he a subby? Is he going to do it and listen to the narrator or not? Intuition here and go right just to see what happens. Wait, he's going to listen to Euro. There's no way he listens to the narrator and not Euro. Yeah, okay. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly there well. There you go. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Hog. I wonder if there's any snacks. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Damn. It had really been worth the detour after all, Drinks? just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Damn, that's a room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. That's pretty pod. Really worth it. It's really worth it. You're right, narrator. It's this like room is pretty boring. No, it's not. I yes, it is. I think I'll move at on. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. My overall personality. Okay, that's too far. <laughs> I'm not hurting anyone. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Run. Leave. You know, narrator, I have friends. I don't need you. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room <gasps> and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh, I just realized there's a door. I'm going to go explore it, narrator. I don't need your permission. Holy schizo. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Wait, Neuro and the narrator are like such a good duo? They instantly are replying off of each other, like they're freaking having a conversation. Nope, didn't want to go back on the track. Gonna go explore some more. Press it. I wish Vito would say something end is never but stanley didn't want to go back to the office this way oh fired no 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 this isn't right at all you're not supposed to be here yet oh. this is all a spoiler quick stanley close your eyes spoilers okay okay okay, okay. we just, we just <laughs> have to come back. he's looking down so he doesn't get spoiled to um oh who am i kidding 
It's all rubbish now. Aww. The whole story completely unusable. Damn. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. What? And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Well, that's one from way to finish top. it. No, I'm... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Uh? Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you, did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Vito's doing his first playthrough. You already broke it. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Whoa. Go. That's cool. Find the story. That's where I would go to. Don't the chairs, like, it's blocking you, but it's the act of blocking you begs you to go over there. Now this, well, I'll be honest, uh, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. This is like a different game. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Thank you. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you huh? didn't put in any actual work for that win. True. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I'm not. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. It's not going to work, is it? I. Vito broke I'm the time. I'm feeling there. really weirded out right now. All right. Oh. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley wow. Parable. Wow, are they just going to hold your hand to the story and tell you exactly where to go? Adventure line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? As insulting. Finally, some direction. You know what, Stanley? <gasps> what? I forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? What the frick? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Because we're not exciting, intelligent. Daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. We're a bunch Why of don't dummies. We simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Yeah. That goes against the adventure line. Let's go on our own adventure. Filtered. He's going to click the door. I'm ready for it. I want our story to be filled with. With? I think this could be fun. Maybe a story about a world where talking AI is normal. And everyone has one as a companion or a pet or something. I mean, that that would be pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no, not you again. Who? Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. Uh, the no line. lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Piano. What dark secret was being Maybe. held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth uh, that his boss had been keeping from him. What if, what if it's like, it's not all perfectly catered? It's not a story that's actually built for you. But there's actually just no point to it, and you're just you're just pooped into the world, and then you just you just have to exist until the end, right? But it's not it's not actually perfectly crafted for you. It's just there. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, uh, two eight four five. Wait for five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. It feels like you are telling me this story from further and further away. Two, eight, four, five. Stanley Narrated. just sat around no twiddling his thumb. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, uh. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Stanley walked straight ahead through Whoa. the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape! Yep, <laughs> I, uh, you don't need walked that. straight ahead through the large door. Yep, listen and you're exactly. You don't need to escape. 
I think Vito would have Stockholm Syndrome. I love walking straight ahead. I love Makes it. Makes me feel alive. <laughs> okay. okay. The lights rose on an enormous We're room back packed here. with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Mm. Did he have the strength to find out? Mm. Yes. I was filled with an overwhelming desire to uncover the secrets of this mysterious room. If if it's mind controlled and and Stanley's being controlled and told what to do by the narrator and stuff, is he actually discovering the secrets or is that just part of the plot? And he's not actually discovering anything like he would know that anyways, right? Like if he knew the code on the code lock, then maybe he was already mind controlled to already know the code on the code lock. So it doesn't even matter that he figured it out or he's going off script because on off script is actually going on script. Where am I? Right? What am I doing here? What's for dinner? What's for dinner? All important questions. All very important questions. Yep. That's some role playing. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. What's for dinner? Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. <gasps> they don't exist. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. <laughs> and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Bro, he just cut her off like that for how much she was going to talk about the narrator? No. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> this can't be my fate. Press. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Oh, hell Was this yeah. the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? My happiness controlled. Maybe that's how it all is Who's for all of us. Who's behind this? I demand to know. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, who's behind it? Vito, do you know? Ooh. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? The truth can be hard to accept, yep. but I'm prepared for the truth, no matter how unsettling it may be. I don't know about that one, you know. I don't know. Sometimes it's a little bit better to just live life in ignorance. I refuse to live in a world of lies proof. and manipulation. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled Damn. with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Mind and as the trouble. cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Whoa. And then instead of using it on another human life, you would develop an AI and you use it on them instead. I'll dismantle these controls and free us all. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place Turn it and on. to everything it stood for. And so I will. Mark my words. This ends now. Bro, Alvito always listens to Nero! I can't tell if it's over. I can't see. Yes. He had won. Did he? He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Is it? And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Did for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking but happiness. Damn, dude. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Damn, dude. Stanley's gonna be happier than me, man. I... I'm finally free. Or are you? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. 
the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley well, if all was meant to was happen, happy. what Damn. path am I entitled to take? Stanley was happy. It's really that simple, she huh? It. She beat the game. He was free. She beat it fast too. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't screw around. They like went straight for the like the the true endings, whatever you want to call that, right? Sort of. And he's back. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I suppose it's worth a try to see if the boss has any answers. Oh, not the broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so oh, he turned no. around and got back on track. Oh no, he didn't. I'm sorry, but I can't let you just skip through content like that. Broom! There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. That's a broom right there. Maybe there is no path. Where's the Maybe bucket? Maybe we don't have a destiny. Well, I don't know if we're going to see the bucket. I hope we see the bucket. The bucket's really cool. Maybe we can all do what we want. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Broom. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Love, gotta love a big stick in the closet. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. What is F.A.? Just enjoying the bliss of inaction. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I'm confused about what is, what is F.A.? Hold on. What is F.A.? I hate you. The fourth note of a major scale. What does F.A. stand for? Faculty of Arts? No, it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's what that means. It's frick all. I don't owe you an explanation. I don't owe anyone anything. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope Why is he British, bro? Your friends find this concerning. <laughs> I'm allowed to stay in the broom closet if I want to. True. I find it Stanley calming. was fat and okay. ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. Oh, That's how goodness. stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Oh, hell yeah, Stanley. Good job, Never. Stanley. How dare you say such lies. How, good job, well, Stanley. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. <laughs> you got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Yep. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Rip Stanley. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. It doesn't count though, because that's a turtle and she's an AI, so they get to, it's big brain They've beaten the narrator. So that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Someone call an ambulance. My internet friend has passed. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> huh, my pace is to die for. <gasps> no uh, way. Second player, it's good to have you on board. I Second player. You can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Go back I in. can certainly try to do worse if you'd like. Yeah! Too. I'm yeah! I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey <laughs> nearby you can hand the controls to. <laughs> a fish? A fungus? 
Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. There I'm is here bad. and ready to play. The narrator is freaking mad, dude. Stanley leaves the broom closet. <gasps> okay. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's Ain't office. No way. Stanley entered his boss's office awaiting his next set of instructions. I'm following her instructions. The office yeah, Vito, Vito friggin is awaiting his next instructions from Neuro 24 365. Was spacious and filled with a sense of authority and importance. She's the narrator now. <laughs> I need you to go out and make sure you find any information we might need on the company firewall. The what? I just got word that we might be being hacked. Oh my god. AI is taking taking all of our jobs, just like Stanley. Neuro is taking Stanley's job. His boss commanded. Stanley just sat around twiddling six, his nine, thumbs. Six, nine. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. I decided to try some other numbers that came to mind. Yep. 1234, 000, even 6666. There is no way someone could know that number. 66, I exclaimed, it's impossible. Forgot. But it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened uh. all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. I stepped inside reluctantly. It worked! Awaiting whatever horrors lay within. Uh. There were stacks of papers, rooms with sensitive information with top secret scrawled on the covers, top just secret. what they needed. As I ventured further into the labyrinth of the facility, I couldn't help but feel a sense of exhilaration. Is the same ending? It's the same ending. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television Jump screens. off. What horrible secret did this place hold? That's the crazy part. You're not even allowed to jump off, dude. It's just like real life. Stanley thought to himself, did he have the strength to find out? There's safety I looked bars. around at the sea of screens, each displaying a different room or hallway. It was as if I was standing at the control center of some great and terrible machine. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I staggered back, my mind reeling with the implications. <laughs> Was I under someone's control? Yep. No, Nero. Was my whole existence an illusion, constructed by forces I couldn't comprehend? Whoa, that's way too aware, bros. No. I refuse to believe it. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. As the truth of my existence weighed heavily on me, I made a resolve. I would no longer be controlled. No. I would free myself and anyone else. No, I refuse to believe it. Trapped in this web of manipulation. The controls before me were the key to my liberation, and I knew what had to be done. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? I have to say this though, this version oh, of events yeah. has been rather amusing. Oh my god, Vito's going off the script. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. Holy! I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. He's aware. 
<laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. With only moments left until the detonation, panic consumed me. I frantically searched for a way to stop the bomb, pushing buttons, clicking on screens, and desperately hoping for a miracle. But as the narrator's words echoed in my ears, it became clear that there was no escape. Oh no. I had been a fool to think otherwise. My purpose, my existence, it was all a lie. And in my final moments, I embraced the truth. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to Holy keep the action shit. moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Holy shit. Will you shit. cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's Do it, Vito. Do a miracle, bro. You got this. All the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. It's Jover. The countdown reached its final seconds, and as the explosion loomed, I made my choice. I let go. <laughs> I let go of the illusion of control, of the false narrative that had dictated my life. In that moment, I found a strange sense of liberation. The explosion consumed me, and with it, my fabricated existence. But from the ashes, a new freedom emerged. Free from the clutches of the narrator, I was finally the author of my own story. Holy frick, dude. I can... Neuro went mega aware and comes out with the best resolution to the story anyone could have written. 